Now, in a different approach, this is somehow a different way how to the API works. We have this URL. Now we are going to query for the best match for query string. There are two parameters, the song and the artist. So this is a dictionary and in our get method we are going to pass a URL and the parameters. So again we need to go to the songster API and there there will be instructions on how to use this API. So Songster has an open API. This means that anyone can write their own program to present public Songster data in different ways. So the Songster API allows you to call methods that respond to REST style XML. We are interested in using this uh, Songster API. There is an example of a request here. So it's looking for songs with the pattern Marley. So Bob Marley is very famous, No Woman No Cry. So if we would copy this and paste it into the browser, we will have this XML response. And XML is another way how we can have our data structured. And in this case here, we are getting our response as XML, but we can also use our Python library and we are going to search a song by an artist so it will be something like this example here, best match for query string. So if you have an artist and a song title and you want to construct a URL to the tab page on Songster, we can use this format here. So we want, in our case, it will be Paranoid from Black Sabbath, but it could also be um, Wonderwall from Oasis or other come together from the Beatles. And we could also add another parameter. So we would like that the instrument to be a bass instead of a guitar. And then we could use here in our example, when we run this, this is the base URL. We are using best match for query string. These are the parameters. So now we pass the URL and the parameters. And here we have some response. That's kind of a HTML response. And we have here, for example, a link to a guitar tab from Paranoid by Black Sabbath, track bass, distortion guitar, and then you can learn how to play the song here. So let's try another example. Let's see that we want the song Sad But True by Metallica. You know, interested in the instrument, we want the bass. So like they're explaining here, add inst equals to base in the URL parameter and we should get the base tablature. So here we have a link, it's a base tablature, set but true and base has normally four strings and this is the set but true in drop D base tab and you can learn how to play this song. So in this last, last example, now we change here instead of WA like we used before. For example, here we have this RA here and we're getting songs by artists. So we, instead of XML, we're going to use JSON and our artist will be Metallica. So now we have a different base URL. We put the songs we by artist.json our parameters artist is Metallica and then we use the session get method with the URL and the parameters and we have a JSON response and when we do r.json we have here many different songs by Metallica 